My plan is to engrave some sort of picture on them or design and see if it works basically. My plan is going to be to cut a section off and I'm going to put that into the laser so then that'll be nice and flat so I can engrave on it. I could cut the whole bottom out of my laser engraver to be able to sit these in but that's more hassle than what it's worth. I think it's just going to be easier if I just get my trusty old knife, slice a bit off and then we can just lay that flat and you know try and cut it. It might not turn out as amazing as I think it is in my head. So where the laser head will be the right focal length here, it won't be here, you know, or here. So it may not be as sharp down there. So what been with these little ones, the picture, I'm not gonna do a massive picture, it's probably gonna be, you know, four by four centimeters maybe. This one's a little bigger, so we can maybe get away with doing a little bigger on there. So yeah, that's my plan. Plan's gonna be I'm gonna slice a section off. I'll clean out all the guts and whatnot. We'll load a picture up into the laser cutter. What picture yet? I don't actually know. And um, yeah, then we'll be able to stick the, the piece back on because it'll just be sitting front facing as well. You're not actually gonna notice the cut bit out. So I'm, I'm hoping not anyway. So if I just lob it off there. Here we go. There's all the guts. And here's the bit I want. So that's going to be sitting on the bed. It's not it's quite a thick pumpkin, so putting a tea light in there. I'm sure we can just empty it out, can't we? I'm no expert in pumpkin carving at all. Okay, so what's the best option here to do? I don't want to cut bits out, I'm just going to engrave it. So I don't know if you've seen how um, where people like can carve pictures into pumpkins. So the deeper you go with the carving, the lighter that section is going to be. So the picture I'm going to do, the picture I'm thinking of doing, uh, it's just a black and white image of a skull. So if I just do the white, yeah, we're just going to hopefully, I don't know, we'll see how we'll see. We'll see how it works in it. So now we're going to set the laser, the laser engraver up, get the air assist going, and we'll get the camera to record the uh, the cut on that. So we'll be back in two ticks. <laughs> Turned out quite well. Bit of char on up here. I'm gonna wipe it down and see if that works. But I haven't hollowed it out yet. But look at this. If you can see light through it, it's a lot better than the other parts. So my plan is to where are they to? Give it a quick wipe, see if this will take any of the charring off. It looks like it is. Because, yeah, the only reason it's really charred is because it was out of focus. Because the in-focus parts, as you can see, hadn't really charred. What I'm using is these isopropyl alcohol wipes, but they're probably a bit dry, so I've got another... I've got a bottle here I'm just going to re-wet them with. Taking the char and off a charm much better. Right, that to one side. Now we basically need to hollow it out. 
We've got proper tools. Let's, let's just try and scrape as much of this as I can out. Yes! Look at that! I think I can probably scrape a little more out. Now I just need to hollow out this piece now. Get hand in there. Oh! When I thought about making this video, doing this part did not cross my mind. It absolutely reeks. How people can, like, eat pumpkin, I don't know. I smell rancid. I can mess with it in there. And then I'm going to... I think I'm just going to put some pins in each side to hold it on. And I should do what I needed to do. Right. Now I need a candle. Okay, right, we've got our candle. So we'll light it, we'll pop him in. And I've got some small tacks we're going to tack it in with. Right then. Light the candle. Put him in. But I am going to have to turn all the lights off here in a second. That looks pretty cool on its own. I can smell, <laughs> I can smell the pumpkin cooking. Right, it does work, but I need to scrape more out. That smells really nice now. Now that's, that's being cooked by candlelight. Should have just done the whole video like this. I kind of like this lighting. Spot on. Okay, let me tap this in. That looks fantastic. Let me bring the camera down and let me show you what I can see. Right then guys, I'm going to end the video here while we just look at these fantastic cinematics of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a nice, quick and easy one today. It was just something I wanted to try out and I thought I'd just bring you guys along for the journey. I'm glad I have done it. Next time I do it, I've got a spare pumpkin. I think I'm going to go really low speed, really high power. And uh, yeah, it, I should get a better result. But I am happy with this. And uh, I think... On a nice, dark, Hallow's Eve, I'll have these sitting on the doorstep. And, uh, yeah, I think they'll stand out quite a bit. Anyway, yeah, again, I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're new here, press the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Completely up to you. Leave a comment. At least if you know what the logo is as well, definitely pop it in the comments. It's a very well-known logo. And, uh... I think this is perfect for the uh, the actual job. All right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll end here. We'll see you in the next one. You all have a good one. Ta-da now.